Okay, this time for Imagine Detail. We're in Copenhagen and uh, we're this time in a small park in uh, Denmark. And uh, unfortunately, Professor Knack was arrested the last time on a building site. So I have to keep a video without him. But I found something very interesting here. It seems to be just a very simple wall made out of masonry brickwork but what you can see is the details that they've accomplished here so top of this wall is even brickwork and to keep the water off the structure that it won't harm it during frozen winter times they put actually a small metal profile in here so what you can see here is within the masonry in the brick wall, well, within the brickwork, they put this metal thing in here and that creates a lip. I will, sketch, I will sketch that later. And this takes the water that's running up here, down to here, will drop from here down. So the water that's actually dropping down is not being able to wetten the surface of the entire wall and it drips free from here. So this is kind of like a rain gutter system to prevent the whole structure from being damaged or even getting uh, dirty over the seasons. It's a very clever idea and if you look at the profile of the sides in here you can also see that this mortar layer here is higher than here because they also made the whole surface leading towards this edge which means the water is able to run into this direction so if it rains the wall will keep dry and due to all these profiles which run totally around the corners and in every corner of here the whole structure will remain dry and uh, will not be beaten up by the different weather circumstances. So now let's uh, have a look what we've seen. There's this brick over here that forms the top of the wall and then there is the stacked bricks over here so this is just the regular bricks that forms the wall there should be something around here of course don't mention that today and then there's the brick that is rotated 90 degrees forming the top layer <coughs> what we've now seen is, assuming what's going on inside the wall, there should be a flange over here, then it runs down and something like that. That's a steel profile that's hidden within the mortar layer over here. That gets a good connection, so there's also mortar layers over here and mortar here. And what we actually see is kind of like, there's a slope over here presumably 2%, so if it rains, rain falls down, piles up here, runs down here, and then it hits the profile and will be guided away from the wall, and in here the water is able to drop down. This distance over here makes it safe, should be about 20 millimeters, something like that, 20 maybe, and that kept the water off the surface. And therefore we have a very durable construction and a good way of how to deal with water that may harm a brick wall if it's out in frosty seasons. Till the next time, bye!